Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we defeated the Smelter Demon, and in this episode, we're going to push through the rest of Iron Keep. If you go back into the Smelter Demon room now, you're going to find uh, something you weren't expecting. I do recommend doing it. It's awesome. I'm going to do it a little later. I'm busy right now. i got to do more present matters. They must be attended. All right, that's fine. Nope, nope, that's fine. All right, this room. That guy's just gonna start banging on the wall, on the floor back there while you fight this guy. Just let him do it. A lot of people, including myself, just try and like rush in and stop him doing from whatever he's doing. Big deal, let him do it. He's gonna break the floor. So, don't fall through the hole he's gonna make. Ow, thought I was out of range. All right, easy, oh, is he gonna, nope. Easiest place to fight these guys is on the little arena. Oh! <laughs> well, I didn't know that was a thing. He just, he just broke the floor while he was swinging at me and died. All right, that was beautiful. Uh, oh my! I don't have any words for what just transpired. Anyway, jump the gap. I didn't kill him this time, so he actually got away right here which is not a okay you dick this is not a good place to fight him because he got an archer so if you can lure him away from that that's good but of course neither is this goddamn hallway of death because if you don't have a spear or some kind of poking weapon you're just gonna bounce a bunch uh oh we're in trouble right now I got swing swing okay that was really close Large Titanite Shard. Don't mind if I do. Oh! He's coming after me. You see that? It's like a whisper. This doesn't usually happen. Usually he'll just sit up there and continue to shoot at you. Which is why you shoot back. But, since he came down here, so pleasantly, is murder him. Go ahead and pull this lever. And, uh, enjoy this. Because it's nice. Beautiful. All right. Important that you open this door and go through here. We got we got secrets in here. Use a Pharos lockstone. Punch the wall. Climb the ladder, and you will find yourself up here with a treasure chest. Which is, you know, always good news, great news, fantastic news. Uh, and a thunder quartz ring plus one. I come down here, light the bonfire. And I'm going to quickly go spend these souls I have because there is no way I'm not dying in the upcoming section. Alright, I went ahead and gave three points to dexterity. I also upgraded the Alva chest piece a little bit. And I upgraded this weapon to plus eight. This is Ricard's Rapier. I said I had a cool move set, and I want to give it a little shot because I really like rapiers and thrusting weapons in this game. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. No dual wielding for a little bit. Just me and Ricard's old weapon. No. I don't want to join your stupid little bellkeeper bullshit. Same conversation as last time, nothing new there. But guess what? We're in another bell. You know what that means? Invaders. Let's kill these guys. Oh. What was that? What was that explosion? I think it's under me. Come on, how is that not the coolest? I love that attack. All right. However, it does really eat away at durability. Now, the bigger enemies, the, the little dwarf guys will respawn up here, but the bigger enemies, like the man you can see in the distance and the one I just killed, will not come back. So rejoice! This place will get slightly easier the more you're here, but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Now, if you join the Bellkeeper Covenant, Oh, shit. Well, here we go. 
I didn't even I I'm I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Look at him. He's he's laughing at me like, "Wow. What an idiot. I didn't even get to fight him. I'm an idiot." <laughs> right. So as I was saying, if you join the Bellkeeper Covenant, you're going to have an additional now uh NPC spawn in here, not NPC, enemy. I am so fuck. Right. As I was saying, join the Bellkeeper Covenant and an enemy is going to spawn right there about 20% of the time you come up here. That enemy drops a very rare set, the Berserker set. Uh, a lot of people hunt for it for a while. It's pretty hard to get in terms of just, you have to be very patient. And like, every time you just go down, sit down at the bonfire, climb, see if he spawned, repeat. He'll drop the entire set once per playthrough though, so that's good. You don't have to worry about. Okay, really? You're being a real. You're being a real tool right now. Any NPC with a great sword just pushes my shit in. No, no jumping. Sit down. It's time to take your medicine. All right. There's a ballista over there. Really not sure why. Never seen it once used. In a in a, in a way that actually did anything. Let's go ahead and grab this item. Simpleton Spice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and we've been invaded by Kaith. Let's ring the bell, because we know they hate that. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you! Alright. The bells of combat have rung. Where are you, Kaith? Kaith? Hello? Kaith? Hello? Kaith? Please? Oh shit! <laughs> ah, well, that was <laughs> that was close. Come on, you're dual wielding. Oh, what? How did I get hit? Why is it that only they get the lag? What? No, you you fucking you now you fucked up. Didn't really fuck up that much. I'm still gonna lose this, I'm pretty sure. But, Kaith, you scared the shit out of me when this started. Wow! How is the reach so much farther than me? Doesn't even make any sense. I should not have played this game in the morning! Okay, anyway, we rang the bell, so now we can climb this ladder and proceed. This roof is pretty dangerous. There's some enemies up here dual-wielding Avalins, which is honestly pretty hilarious, but... Is it some enemies or is it just one? I can't remember. Anyway, you can line of sight him like this, so he'll be forced to charge you, but then he will back off like a little prick. He plays just like a real person. But, just like a real person, he can die. Turns out. Turns out, <laughs> turns out I mean he's dying in this game. I know it's crazy. Go ahead and run down here and grab another item. Right here. Maybe some button spice. And poke your head up here. And these two are going to start shooting arrows at you. So what I recommend is hide right here. Get the greatsword guy to come after you and then go after them. Definitely can't do both at the same time. He'll climb a ladder. He's on his way. Hello. I'm so good at fighting you, so, I mean, I'll have no problem this time. Eh. Eh. So, I'm wondering, now that YouTube is doing their 60 frame thing, if you guys will, if it will be much more visibly noticeable when I, uh, have frame rate drop, so I'm definitely not going to be setting the 60 frames to these vids. Not until I get an i7 and the frame rate drops cease. Just because I have a really shitty processor, and Fraps, uh, Fraps needs a processor. Let me tell ya. And every, I've tried a bunch of other alternatives to recording, and none of them seem to work properly. I would use Shadowplay on my NVIDIA card, but, like, after five or so minutes of straight recording, the sound gives out, or the video glitches, or something like that. Alright, let's do that. He's almost dead. You know, I'm just going to go finish the job personally. Sub dude. I'm coming for you. Huh. 
What's up? You dead. Alright. One last item to grab. And we made it out of Belfry Soul. Huzzah. It's a freaking miracle. Stab every chest. You know the drill. Don't get fooled. Immolation. Dumb spell. <laughs> a really dumb spell. <laughs> Full disclosure. Pointless ahead. Alright. Wait, back and then treasure? Oh, hello. I, I just read that other one. I almost missed an item. Human effigy and some human snake troches or whatever the heck it said. <laughs> Alright. Now we're back above where we were. But before you drop, you need to get the real reward for defeating Belfry Soul, which is in here. In this chest we have... Uh, the Black Knight Greatsword, and in this chest we have... I think... <laughs> Protective Chime and the Grand Spirit Tree Shield. Now what does that look like, Grand Spirit Tree Shield? Because I'm looking for a shield to go with this rapier. Yeah, you know what? That looks pretty good, right? I look pretty good. This is the same shield that uh, Targray uses, I think. Now, coming out here, we'll get you out of that bonfire. And you can go back to this. Don't think that bonfire is a trap. A lot of people do. It's not. You can you can get out of it by normal means. It is not a trap. It is not the end. This is not the end. Meow. Then drop down here. Can we get out this way? Yeah, okay. I was about to be a little embarrassed. Now, rinse and repeat. Oh, watch out. Oh, you missed. Go ahead and dunk these doofuses. Ah, dude, I hit the a- uh, dunked! Bye-bye. Now, there's still more archers up here, so let's take care of them first. I'm gonna show you guys a fun trick. There's a button right here. Yep. Be careful of those buttons when you're moving around yourself. You don't want to kill yourself. But there's a button for each of these platforms. Ah! I knew I'd get shot. Now go down here. And avoid these buttons. Because they'll they aren't they aren't like, you know, the end of the world, but they'll make your life harder. Get up in this guy's grill. Oh boy. Hit a button. That's what those do. Lava. Lava everywhere. Alright, so on these flaming platforms, you got a chest over there and you got an item over here. Fire seed. And it's a uh, pyromancy called Chaos Flame. Now you know. I'm definitely going to get hurt doing this. Shit. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm fine. Woohoo! So, yeah, that's what that area is for. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, never going down there again. Alright. Go ahead and come this way. Make sure you pull that switch. Otherwise, you won't be able to get to the area I'm about to show you. Uh. Kill this guy. Kick him in the butt. Oh. Oh. That looked really painful. Holy crap. This weapon is definitely weaker than the other ones, but... I mean, it's different. And I wanted to show different for a little bit. Go ahead and grab this. Large soul of a nameless soldier. We got one more of these guys to take care of. I think. Yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, right. I forgot. That's like the longest leap forward ever. Oh, uh, y'all got backstabbed. That would hurt so bad. I, like, stabbed him in the back of the neck up into his brain. I guess you might not even feel it. Ooh, what we get? Ooh, the Alon Captain Helm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I had I had a, a thing I wanted to do. And... Nope, it's gone. Nope, brain, brain gave up. All right, before we go that way, let's go this way. Up this ladder. Holy crap. Hold on, I definitely got to restart fraps. All right, go ahead and climb this ladder. Notice these things. They'll help you cross that fire down there if you're so inclined. I'm so not. And right here, we have a mimic. Kick its ass. <laughs> you tried. They can come as steel chests and wooden chests. Go ahead and pick it up. Lightning wing sphere and dark armor. You get one piece of dark per mimic. I come up here. And we have yet more awaiting us up this ladder. Stupid little 
mimic shit. Thought he could get us. Destructive great arrows. We we don't even have a, a great thing. There's no illusory walls here. No? Yeah, I'm being fooled. I'm always being fooled. I am the fool. Go ahead and climb up here. And there's quite a bit of enemy presence to deal with up here. Don't bother with that. Pharos, it's just going to dump water into that little hole in front of it. But yeah, this area can be pretty bad for some people. Pop up. You got four captains waiting to shoot you. So go ahead and start firing on one. Make sure you, you, you just want to carry a bow with you in general in this game. If you don't have magic, bring a bow. Even the odds a little bit. Otherwise... Without a ranged presence, you're just going to really regret your life. There you go. Oop. Almost done. I might I might skip through this. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this with the other one, and I'll be back. Okay, I shot down the one in front of us and the one to the right. It took a while, so I'm really glad I uh, shortened that. I believe there's... Is, I thought there was one more, but I guess there's only three. Unless one of them fell. Curious. Anyway, grab a simpleton spice. Poke this. Ow. That looks, looks so painful, that recoil. Open this up and get yourself a Black Knight Great Axe. Lots of Black Knight stuff here. Go ahead and drop down onto this. And onto this. Alright, we gotta do a little parkour at this point, so just, just be confident. Confidence is how you parkour. That's what my parkour sensei taught me. I was not confident there. I should have... I could have died. Now, on here... We're nice and safe. Glug. But this guy... This guy might, uh... Might get you if you're not careful. So just go ahead and shoot him while you're up here. And there he goes. Onto a platform where he's totally safe. There. <laughs> Alright. Now we're on here. And this is a lot scarier than it looks. These chains don't collide. So just go ahead and walk off. Land on the rim of this. Walk around. Grab the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, which I'm going to immediately equip because I am trying to show you guys all the items in the game. And it increases your item uh, find. I do need Ring of Blades. I'll just have to take off the blue seal. Big deal. Go ahead and do that. Walk off. Now come back here in case you didn't do this already. This is into the room with the trap. There's also that dude right there, and we have to kill him. Actually, had I not opened the fog gate, we wouldn't have to, but... I mean, you guys are almost certainly going to, so... Oh, watch out for the backdrop. Come on. I need a good moment to attack. Why did I drink? I have, like, no health missing. Oh, well. Yeah. For the sake of brevity, I may switch back to the two swords until I can do more damage with Ricard's. I mean, it does pretty good damage, right? Look at that. Look at that. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. In fact, what might make it better is using the old Leo ring, the ring we got from the old Dragon Slayer, because it improves the counterattack damage of thrust weapons. Let's go ahead and give that a shot before we give up on it. Now come down in this hallway. We got more enclosed spaces with these guys. Whoever designed this area is a total dick. Especially because I think these ones are programmed exclusively to do the up-down. Ow. They're very single-minded like that. It's, it's, if you can walk out of range, that's obviously best because then you don't have to recover from the roll and you can get more attacks in easier. Oh, with the back step. He's got outplayed, son. All right, now. Let's see if I can do this. Pull this up. It's a guillotine, if you can. If you didn't notice by the blood and shit. Go ahead and run through. Grab this guy. Hey, dude. How's it going? Come back to the other side. And try to be a hero. <laughs> yeah, that'll kill him for you. Hilarious. All right. Now we can move through without any problems. And oh my god, the bloom is almost impossible to see anything with. Get in here. 
This is not a happy room. Don't bother with that item yet. I will tell you why in a moment. Right here is one of the most well-disguised ladders in the history of all time. I didn't see it in my first playthrough. Thought it was just more of the cage. Climb this ladder. It'll make your life a thousand times easier. Whew. That was a hard ladder. These are these are these are big ass ladders, just so you know. We're going up. We're going up quite a bit. But it's a great view. Hello. Pshh. Go on up here. Light a bonfire. This is a very good bonfire. Makes makes life for this next section really easy. And if you look out here and out here, you'll notice that we can see pretty much the entire like castle from here. Down there, that little circular thing? That's Magarold's little section. So that where does that put us? We'll find out soon. Pull this, and you're going to hear the sweet sound of silence. All of the fire traps in Iron Keep have been disabled. You can go ahead and go back and get any items, uh, like the, the iron key that I got while dying in the previous episode, without any danger. The floors that we were trying to cross are still totally on fire. Don't get your hopes up about that. We got a lightning short bow plus one right there, which is awesome. I don't even know. Did I have I upgraded my bow at all? Yeah, it's plus three, but it's not lightning. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give the lightning short bow a look. It does do more damage overall. 84, 100. Awesome. Now we have a slightly stronger bow. And a dude! Okay! <laughs> Guess who forgot? This guy. Uh, I'm ah. <laughs> I'm doing a whole lot of damage right now, as you can see. I'm also on two Estus because I didn't sit down at the bonfire because I'm retarded. For the Ricard's Rapier, it seems you got to be close to really do the damage you want. Uh, uh, Alright, well, let's go get Estus. Okay, killed the dude. Now we're outside. It's good. It's all good. I actually took off my Royal Soldier's Ring because I realized it wasn't helping me all that much and replaced it with the Ring of Blades, so now I should be doing a little more damage. Let's go ahead and run along this into this fog gate, and we are going to meet an important enemy. Ah, yes, the Balrog. Classic enemy from the Lord of the Rings franchise. I'm, 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 I'm playing. You know I'm playing, right? All right. This enemy, this boss, is not that bad. What it requires is some good positioning. See? Good positioning. Didn't even hit me. And good rolls. Like, really good rolls. Those were not good rolls. I got lucky. Oh, damn. I'm doing all right damage. All right. Now what you're gonna, gonna want to do is you're gonna stay on his left side because when he does this, you can simply run to the right and, and completely miss it. Roll at the very end of his attacks. He's pretty accurate with his attacks, so you gotta be quick with the rolls. Now the biggest enemy you're gonna face in this is this little pit. Don't fall in this pit. It'll be embarrassing for everyone involved. Now if you can't escape the fire, run this way and hide behind this. But he also has a straight attack and he can go to the left. Like that. He has more attacks than you're ready for. I assure you, he constantly pulls out new shit. And I believe he gains some extra stuff when he gets halfway. Here comes another spread. He's making this really easy for me. This fight is generally easy, but that is a bad attack. Get some distance. And also, you should roll. I'm pretty sure he shoots out a jet of flame in addition to punching the ground like that. He'll do the pu the ground punch part on its own, occasionally. Always be ready for a second attack, because he usually follows up. Go ahead and come this way. Stab, stab, roll. All right. Just about done here. He's really not a tough boss. Okay, that was a little <laughs> close, but we're done. Oh man.
man. I was trying to do it. In s oh shit. Okay. So let me try and display this move a little better. Nope. He does a uh, he does an AOE there. But honestly, this boss shouldn't take you more than a few tries. We got his soul, the old Iron King's soul, the king of this castle. Just be patient with that fight. If you if you die, you'll get it quicker than I think you'll quicker than you think you'll think. Think, 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 think. Go ahead and open this right here. And what do we get? What do we get? Sublime Bone Dust. Very nice. Now we can go upgrade our Estus to be even more potent. Now if we come down here, this is the first time we've encountered one of these. It's a bonfire, but the sword is broken. Very interesting. Take that as you will. I'm not really sure what it means. But this is a primal bonfire. And the only difference between a primal bonfire and a regular bonfire, besides the sword being broken, is that this one will do nothing but return you back to the far fire, which is in Majula. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the four branches that we have to complete to unlock Dren Lake Castle. Now if we go talk to the Emerald, Harold. You have acquired the soul of an old one. That is more than most undead can say. She congratulates us a little bit, I guess. Which is nice. It's nice to have some recognition. Now we're, I'm just going to go ahead and level up some more. I like my dex quite a bit. I'm going to bring that up to 36. Dex weapons are more interesting to watch, I feel. Strength weapons are just like, dunk, dead. And let's go ahead and do a little more adaptability so we can roll a little easier. 20 or 22 is usually where I stop adaptability. I don't need any more than that. And that will do it for this episode. Iron Keep Down. Very nice. And we did this episode in a in a normal speed. I'm gonna go ahead and change this because I think is it. I don't think I have one of the shields that uh that gives you stamina regen yet. So we'll have to keep this one on our back for now. It looks nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and all the fun stuff. I'll see you next time. I'm done with you, people.